Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these white retro seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and with my step-by-step -step instructions I'm sure that even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them. I use really simple stuff, only seed beads and regular ear wires. So it's not a difficult project. I'm sure by the end of this tutorial, you're going to be able to make it by yourself. So if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys and what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads. You could use 10 o seed beads if you want. This is white color and this is dark rainbow or chameleon color and these are ear wires. This is Nemo beading thread that is 0.2 millimeters thick or this is size D. Here is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I'm going to take 16 of these beautiful dark beads. Okay, and I have my 16 here and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making a knot by making here a loop going once, going second time through this loop I've made. You could make three times if you want. Okay, and now I want to make one more knot just to be sure that everything is nice, tight and secure. I have this surgeon's knot or half hitch knot and now in my next step what I want to do is go through some beads or if you want you could reinforce one more time your work. Now guys what I want to take is one white bead one dark bead and one white bead. This is what I have on my needle. And as I'm exiting from this bead, I will skip the next one that's on my way and go through the following. Now this is what I have. And I'm going to repeat this a white, a dark and a white. Skip the following and go through the next one. Then a white, a dark and a white. Skip the following and go through the next. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now I'm here where I'm going through this last dark bit of my row. And now in my next step, I will go here through this white bit. And I will go through this dark chameleon bit. And now I'm going to take five seed beads. Okay, I take five. You see, and as I'm exiting out of this dark bead, I'm going through the following dark. Okay. Okay, and as I'm exiting here, I'm going to take five more beads. Okay, again five. And I'm going through the next bead that's sticking out. Okay. 
then 5, k5, and through the next that's sticking out, 5 more, k5, go through the following. Okay, and now I'm going to repeat this four more times off camera and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. If you forgot how I did it, just repeat this part. Rewind the video and repeat this part from here and I'll meet you there. Okay, and here I'm adding my last five beads from this row. Okay, now I have this. And don't worry, it bends and moves. We'll fix it in the next rows, making new thread paths. Okay, now I'm going through these two beads, skipping this angle bead here, and go here. And when I pull, guys, you see what I have here? I have something like an angle. Now, what I do is that I go here through the following seed bead. Okay. I take one white bead and I go back here. You see where I'm not going here, here at the angle bead, but through those two beads that meet above it. So here, then I'm going through the following seed bead, skipping the one that's coming on my way and going here through these three beads like this then i go through the following seed bead only through one and i take one white bead and i go back in circle through these two beads that are just above the angle bead. You see where my thread is? And I pull. Go through just one bead after that. Go through just one bead after that. Skip the following seed bead. And go through these three beads here in this direction. And pull like this then i'm going through the following seed bead take one white bead and go back in circle through these two beads in this direction making a beautiful loop okay like this then go through the following bead, skip the one at the angle, and go through the following three beads, okay, go through the following dark, take one white bead, and go back through these two whites, just like this. Okay guys, and continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. And you see how everything looks nice and tight here at this step, okay? So now what I want to do is reach here at the top at this bead that's sticking out the most at the angle and what I want to take are two white beads and I'm going through this white here in this direction then two more white beads go through the angle okay like this pull a little bit two more whites go here Then again, 
And this will be basically, guys, what I'm going to repeat until the end of this row. It's very easy. Take two, go through the white, take two, go through the angle, take two, go through the white, take two, go through the angle. Okay, and now I'm going to continue this off camera and meet you here to tell you how to continue. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last two beads from this row and I need to pull harder. And now what I do is that I go through all of those white beads. Okay, and I'm going to take one white go through all of the whites here in this direction and pull one more white go through all of those beads like this one white go through those beads here And I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last white bead here. Okay, and in my next step, I'm going through the angle bead and through the bead that's after that. Okay, just like this. Here I need five dark beads. Okay, five beads. And I will go through this one that is just under this one that's at the angle. One bead before the angle bead, I mean. Okay, then through the angle bead and through the following. And I'm going to take five more beads. Okay, five. One, two, three beads away from here, or one bead before the angle, if it's easier for you. These are the two ways to remember it. Then go through the angle and through the following. Take five beads. Okay, five. And go one bead here before the angle bead okay just like that and i'll show you one more time and i'll let you do this by yourself until the end of this row so i'm going through the angle and through the following bead five five beads skip those here go here like this and i'm going to continue this four more times and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last five beads from this row and in my next step i'm going through this white bead here taking three dark beads and go through this bit that in the middle and is forming something like an angle okay take three go through the white angle bit okay take three go through the dark angle bit take three go through the white angle bit take three go through the dark angle bit take three 
go through the white angle bead take three go through the middle of these five beads or through the third one that if you count from here and now guys continue doing this until the end of this row and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and now i need to do one more row and in order to do this i'm going through these three beads in this direction and i just want to fill the gaps here by forming my last row okay three beads go through the following three and the white one here pull okay now i'm going through the next three take three skip the angle and go through three beads and pull three skip the angle take three go here three take three go here and this is really cool and pleasant this last row if you like what i'm showing you please give me a thumbs up down there okay see you in a while to finish this work okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and i pull okay guys and what i want to do is go through the following two beads here and what i want to take are five white beads and i'm going to take my ear wire here you see five beads and my ear wire and then i will go in the same place here two beads away from this angle white bead and i pull okay like this now guys i will go again through these two dark beads here i will go through the following two whites just like this then i'm going to skip this one and go through the following two whites and pull then again you could do a few reinforcements more and when you're ready find a place to make a knot let's say here i will make a knot here and i'm doing it by making a loop here and i'm going once and i'm going second time through this loop i've made and i pull then what i do is that i go through the following seed bead and you could repeat this knot several more times and when you're ready go through the following seed bead and then cut your thread never cut next to a knot cut as close as possible to your work use zippers if you want okay and now my starry retro earring is ready okay guys and now my starry retro earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations 
Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye from me.